Hello friends, welcome to my channel The World. In this video, you will know about the history of White House attacks. Number 7 February 7, 2001 Two weeks after George W. Bush's inauguration, Robert W. Pickett, a former Internal Revenue Service employee with a history of mental illness and suicide attempts, waved a gun at tourists and police outside the White House, firing several shots. A Secret Service agent shot him in the knee after a 10-minute standoff. Pickett spent two years receiving psychological treatment at a Bureau of Prisons hospital. Number 6 May 23, 1995 The Clinton White House came under attack once again when pizza delivery man and one-time psychology student Leonard William Majeski scaled a fence and sprinted toward the executive residence, pistol in hand. A Secret Service agent shot Majeski in the arm, wounding a fellow officer in the process. Ojeski was found not guilty by reason of insanity, but committed to a mental facility until 1999. Number 5 October 29, 1994 A man named Francisco Martin Duran opened fire on the White House in an apparent attempt to kill Clinton, who was watching football in the mansion's family quarters. Secret Service officers tackled and subdued the 26-year-old gunman, although one bullet managed to penetrate a window in the west wing. Nobody was hurt. Duran was found guilty of trying to assassinate a president and is still serving jail time. Number 4 September 12, 1994 Unhinged by the breakup of his marriage and severely intoxicated, an army veteran and former truck driver named Frank Eugene Carter crashed a stolen Cessna in the south wall of the White House. Carter, who is thought to have been suicidal, died on impact, since the White House was undergoing renovations at the time. President Bill Clinton and his family were not in the building. The undetected breach of restricted airspace compelled officials to reevaluate security measures. Number 3 December 25, 1974 On Christmas Day, 25-year-old Marshall Fields crashed his Chevy Impala through a White House gate and drove to the North Portico surrounded by officers. He claimed to be the messiah and threatened to detonate what appeared to be a bomb strapped in his body. After four hours of negations, Field surrendered, his explosive turned out to be flares. Number 2 August 16, 1841 Faced with an economy plagued by wildly fluctuating currency valuation and bank fraud, President John Taylor waited Congress attempt to re-establish the Bank of the United States. When word of his decision spread, angry spotters of the bank gathered outside the White House. The Reuters hurled stones, shotguns into the air and hung an effigy of the president that they then set on fire. As a result of the unrest, the District of Columbia decided to create its own police force. Number 1 August 24, 1814 At the height of the War of 1812 between the United States and England, British troops stormed the White House. Soldiers reportedly sat down to eat a meal made of leftover food before the ransacking the presidential mansion and setting it ablaze. Fortunately, President James Madison and his wife Dolly had already fled to safety in Maryland. The First Lady famously rescued a life-size portrait of George Washington from upgoing up in flames. You guys can tell me in comment section about that White House attack which wonder you. 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोज एंड इंफॉर्मेशन थैंक यू